Welcome back to NGTV Plays Earthbound, featuring myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt. We, uh, were able to come forward and and temporarily fix our issues with the controller by not using the same controller and just getting a different one. What? It fixed the problem. It was like the dumbest fucking... <laughs> uh, we fixed the problem temporarily by uh, using a different controller. <laughs> well, it's because, like, yeah. But yeah, it, it was absolutely the controller's fault, so. Well, we don't know that yet. I wouldn't be saying absolutely until we get done with this recording section. That's true. Okay. That makes sense. I know, that's why I'm the sensible one. It looks like he really wants to have a conversation. It was too easy. My name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Mr. Andonet's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man, the first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I've become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Sure. Let's sleep in the grass. A little rapey. <laughs> Take care. Come back again. Uh, so I don't have the pencil eraser. Not yet, you don't. These damn bugs, man. They're like six and a half pixels. What you get, bitch? Smash. Bone monkey is so useful. Just sits there and scratches his head the whole time. Sometimes he takes hits. So I guess he's useful as like a, a sponge. I guess he, he he did do damage before, didn't he? I don't know. Uh-oh. This guy's totally gonna come at you. Oh, dude, his back was totally turned. That's bullshit. He's a rowdy mouse. We fought these before. I know, it's just... He did 13 damage to me. I'm going back for a rest. I like the, the, the battle background scenes. Like, I didn't realize how simplified they are, but all they are is basically a kaleidoscope. Practically. Basically, practically. I don't know. They, it resembles kind of a clutter scoop kind of thing. He's flanking you. Do we have like any like... What, like abilities? Yeah. I don't think so. I think his main usefulness is to be able to fix things. See, monkey's putting in work now. It's because I started talking, you know, about how much he wasn't doing. He's trying to prove himself. Ooh, a present. But apparently I did not set up the bumpers right. Oh, okay. So we'll just go remember the buttons. Do we have a hamburger? Uh, we no. have some shit cookies. Yeah. Eat the cookie. Nice. We should kind of put me back in the menu after that. Yeah, that'd be nice. What is this mushroom? Is decor. <clears throat> Just decor. It used to be kind of difficult to actually get behind enemies. Seems like that that would be a pretty uh, hard thing to master, at least. One HP of damage. Know. Mon oh, fucking bubble monkey. Yeah, missed. That's right, he became tame. Oh, level 7. Got up levels. Oh, no, I guess it's not really going up that quickly, considering that uh, Ness is uh, how high right now? Like 17, or. I know he's higher than that, isn't he? Oh, see, that time I got him. Surprise opening attack! Get that. Yeah, focus the freaking. 
rat. Good job, bubble fucker. <laughs> I meant to attack the fucking rat that time. Oof, down to 11. Think I gave a shit? Whenever I'm hurt, I just eat a bread roll. That heals you quite a bit. Uh-oh. Can you, can you run away? Oh, man. I think I hunted you out. This is no more mice. Yeah. Should have eaten before we started recording. Well, maybe it'll be like an incentive just to like push on through, you know? Or it'll just serve to make you really hungry and then hate life. Either way, really. A ton of mushrooms here it makes you wonder if any of them are going to come alive and run at you, you know? That mushroom will. I don't think we don't know about you, mushroom. <laughs> Avoided. I feel like we. I feel like we've been here before. Yeah. Oh, good. Now there's three. Can we? Oh, back to two. Oh shit, there's a, a glowy thingy up here. Oh, what the heck is that? I don't know, but no mushrooms now. Cheap bracelet. Oh, nice. I love that cheap bracelet. Nice. Oh, where'd you get that cool bracelet? Yeah, I found it in a cave. Ah. Oh. Beating up slugs and m mice, you know. I figured I need to get myself, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a present for myself, you know. Water rocket is pretty cool. How does that do? I'm I guess you use it in battle. I have a feeling. That this is the extent that the cave goes. Yeah, but... That's really weird. That was the only place I could go. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You know how Bubble Monkey likes packs of bubble gum? And it helps him float? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, showing us true usefulness. Up one. Nice. First thing that I thought using it, where then, like, you would just chew the bubble gum. That'd be terrible. Alright, monkey. Drop down the rope. That's what I thought. Wait, why don't you come? just stay up there? I'm coming right back. Can't get wait. Can't wait till we get to the cool shiny thing. Oh, dude, fucking the mushrooms are so bad. Like if it was just like rats or something like that, that'd be fine. But the mushrooms, they like totally fuck you. Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. Who the fuck is Ness? Huh. This is Stonehenge. Q Q Q. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. That's fucking weird. You guys are weird. They even look like monkeys. <laughs> like humanoid weirdo thingies. Humanoid weirdo thingies. Well, Bull Monkey is uh is gone uh, in search of love. Stone hedge. The heck is this place? Apparently that was a hole. And apparently I have to fight somebody. Cave boy. 
Okay, boys, dagging. 23 damage. Okay, well. Oof, maybe I want to avoid these guys in the future. All right, Jeff. God damn. Oh, fuck. You have to heal yourself. He's gonna hit me. Six hundred fifty-two. I feel like I shouldn't have used that. <laughs> Ooh, a picnic lunch. Well, Matt, the important thing is you survived. Oh, I went up two fucking levels. Damn. Maybe I was supposed to use that. I have to fight this guy? You kids don't look very bright. Let me ex help explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about in the tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Is, are they in Britain? Lab. Oh, go in the lab. Just synthesize some more bottle rockets. Oh shit! What is this? Like, what is this, Bill? <laughs> Doctor Br Mr. Brickrow, the dungeon maker, referred to you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I. I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I was just down the road in one testy trip along the way. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Oh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. Uh, I was like, donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Patouche. Well, at least I asked. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. And it's still incomplete. Uh, it'll let you use the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you're bored, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What, what do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten years or so. What a great day. I didn't actually mean to get into this. I thought he talk, it was talking about that machine. Oh, shit. I just wanted to click on this. Shit, we didn't even check out Stonehenge. Oh. Well, we're going now. Well, do I need to go back? For Stonehenge? No. But there was a gift up. There was a gift box upstairs. What was that? Um, also, you could have healed up with that machine inside. God damn it. It just says get an item from the gift box. It's probably random or something. Like a hamburger. Guess where you're at, dude. Oh my god, am I on Monzo? Such a nice ride. Should have eaten. <laughs> oh my god, we're traveling along all these, these cool little places. Are we supposed to be like telling it where to land? No. Cool. You're good. And you were far away. You might have been in the UK. And you're going to like wherever Ness lives. Onezo. Onezo. <laughs> oh shit. Are we in three right now? Oh, you're supposed to listen to it. <laughs> you're just pressing the button now. Like, how? Do, what am I supposed to do when it does I don't know. that? Maybe this is like an automated thing. What button did you press to uh, make it go? I didn't press a button to make it go, it just went.
Maybe this is just how I land. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I, became, I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Alright, let's get back to the journey then. That fourth wall. What fourth wall was that? Oh, you say, let's, let's get back to the journey, like as if he was a part of the journey previously. As if he was talking to the player, not to the, the guy. Let's get know. back to the journey, like he's, I'm pretty sure he's referring to the journey that Ness is on. Fine. I guess no fourth wall brokerage there. Oh my god, that was like... You think I was fishing, Matt? Yeah, I think okay. that was a classic case of you don't know the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Alright. You gotta figure out a way to get through the door. There's a broken machine that you have there. Can you fix that? I just read that and said it's impossible to fix for now. No, no, the broken machine said you're Oh shit, that's with DS cargo. Oh, yeah. Dude, Jeff has that item. The, uh. Or the bad key machine. Go use the bad key machine on the uh, door. Well, that's what I was gonna do. But you said go look at the item again. Well, no, I was talking about the uh, broken machine that at th that is at the S cargo. So you don't have it on you. Noise. All that to open the door. Classic. Wish there was like a cell phone or something on here. That way I could call my dad. So we made it back out. And uh, now we have Jeff, which is nice. So I guess I need to go back to those locations where the thing beeped. Oh, that's makes sense. Where did it go? It went, it went to the circus. It went above where the graveyard is. Is How's Jeff's health and all that? Did he heal throughout the journey or is no, he still like... He's still fucked up. He is still messed up. Where is the... Hotel. Right there. Um, so apparently Jeff can fix that bag he, uh, I'm sorry, f fix that broken machine that you gave to the Escargo Express. Um, overnight. It's one of those things he can do overnight while he sleeps. And we need to get him better weapons, because apparently the drugstore has better stuff for him. 590 in the bank. Oh, Jeff's almost up another level. All right, we should probably end the episode here. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.